welcome to a new episode in this episode we'll be seeing how we can dynamically append the options to the child drop downs this phenomenon uh, we normally call it as a cascading drop down let's say on change of country we are dynamically ascending up appending states let's select united states so you can see the states from the united states state. on click of states we are assigning city to this city's drop down let's see if i'm changing california we don't have anyone alabama yes okay so if you can see city and state are already selected if i'm changing the country this should be get change let's see in india we have the maharashtra and again state likewise if i selected delhi likewise okay so this is the same thing which we are going to do so let's check the code so for starter it is just the three drop downs we have so country is by default like it with it is a static one okay so it is having india and the value us okay so two options we have next thing is the state it is empty and for city drop down it is also empty we just have assigned the ids like uh, dpdl state dpdl city and dpdl country okay so the thing is when we change the country drop down we have to call the state okay so either you can do this with your api or the services if you have otherwise i have just uh, for taking this example i have created array let's say in state list it is a collection of object which is country and state okay so on change of this drop down we are matching india and us whatever the value we have set on this country okay so we will get the state list based out of this country which is whatever the selection we have made then if we change the state we have city list in that we have state and the city if you can see maharashtra then delhi punjab alabama arizona okay like this let me show you the code okay so all the change event will be again in the uh, document dot ready okay that is already thinking of as you are already aware like all the functions need to be in the document dot ready so dpdl country dot change what i'm doing when we change the country first we have to empty uh, state and the city drop down right selection should be cleared out so that is what i'm just clearing out all the options it has and selecting and setting choose state and choose city only okay so then from state list we have to get all the list from this array state list matching with this country so same thing state list dot filter where m says that this is an arrow filter m dot country is equal to whatever the selection we have made okay drop down id dot val then whatever we have get the array we are using for each loop we have created again dynamic option option appending val with element dot state element is nothing but for each instance loop then printing element dot state okay and appending the same to the dpdl state this is first drop down second is on change of state see on change of state what we have to do we just have to uh, make the city drop down empty and uh, add one option only that is choose city then from city fill city list we have to filter it out with the state and matching with this selected state again the same thing now this time we are appending to the dpdl city let's check the same code in console okay so on change of country we get the debugger point over here so you see first line we execute making state and choose city as a default option then city state list you can see six options are there and the matching one what is the current selected value india okay so out of state list we have three records matching with the country so that is the same thing so in constant you can see we got the three record again we are using the for loop so you can see we have got the options ready if you can see on the option Value is equal to Maharashtra and inside no, printing value is also Maharashtra. Then we are appending the same to the state three times. So you can see we have got this. Right now state is city is empty. But if we select the state, you can see in city current selection state is you can just select it and hover the mouse so you get to see the value Maharashtra. 
then in city list we can see states are three which is having the maharashtra and again the three cities okay so in states sorry this is the same variable i have copied so you can see the three city list we have got again the same for loop okay now you can see city what we have got so this is the unlimited trail you can create right now we just have the three drop down you can create unlimited like this <clears throat> okay so let me tell you on click of country change what we are doing currently maharashtra and mumbai are being selected so these two lines which is just emptying all the options we have and setting it adding one options only so you see we get default choose uh, state and choose setting then again adding the values we have for the state okay and city will be empty so this how we can dynamically append options to the drop down thank you please like and subscribe this video and the code is already in the github so you can use the code thank you